Hey guys, I was having a hard time soldering uh, the, the flex cable for that RC boat that I just converted. But um, you'd get it hot and it would get too hot and then it would the solder would just flow off from it. So I'm going to show you how I finally how I finally got it to solder effectively with uh, with the use of a crucible that I've made and right now it's cold it's there's just a bunch of solder in there now but um, I'll show you I'll show you how I did it it, it uh, it's actually a pretty neat process what I did is I uh, let me get the camera set up over there hold on, hold on. Is I, uh, what you do is you first take you, you take your take your flex cable right you take your flex cable and it's yeah. you kind of round it off here. Yeah. You take it on the side. You round it off a little bit. And if you have a Dremel or some sandpaper, whatever, I got a wire brush on this side, you just clean it up. Clean it up real nice. About an inch up. Okay. Now, just because the outside's clean does not mean the inside is clean. So. What I did was I used 91% rubbing alcohol, and I don't have much left. But, oh, look at that! I just dropped it in there. Anyway, you freaking you get it clean. You let it sit in there. See it in the in the liquid there. And you, you get it in there, and you and you let it set for a bit. To get all the oils and everything out. I'm gonna let that set for a while and and then I'll be back. Okay, come back. It's been about, I don't know, three, four, five minutes, whatever the hell it was. And uh, taking that out of there. Setting that aside. Let that let that you know just kind of shake it off. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. Just shake it off. Hear it? Like I'm in a, I'm in a an old time jet lean or a, a kickboxer, not kickboxer. Anyway, it's like I'm in like a. Anyway, shut up. I'll edit that out. Anyway, dry it out. And uh, next thing you want to do is get your crucible. Get your crucible hot. Here, let's see if we can get a little closer in on that. Oh, look at that. That's a perfect shot. Um, what I used was uh, lead-free soldering paste and got the lead-free solder. It's called silver solder. It's like 2% uh, silver. Um, and what you do is you get your crucible hot If I can get this lid off this paste here. Can we see the paste? This paste is way the hell over there. Alright. Get the crucible nice and hot. And we'll, uh, let's see that. Let's see that melt. Now this crucible is uh, just a, a regular iron end from a pipe. You get it at any hardware store, and then I, I took a Dremel and I cut out the, the threads, ground them out. There's no threads in there. It's starting to get warm here. Look at this. Yeah, 
and what I what I was doing, I was heating it up enough to where it looks like it's going to boil. Might not be a good thing, but it, uh, it's hot. It's it's hot. Just to show you how. how so, uh, we'll just take this piece of wire and, and she's warm. She's a little bit of flux floating there on top. What I do is take this, just warm it up a little bit. You don't have to get it hot, just warm it up just a little bit. See the alcohol coming out of it? And you want to warm it up just enough to where Stick it in there, and it accepts some flux. A little warmer, won't be very hot. And then what you do is you just stick it in the crucible. Yeah, just stick it in there. Let the part, let the let the flex shaft warm up with the solder. Have a rag handy. Just keep. Keep dipping it. And what you do is you bring it out and clean it. See how good that looks right now. But I'm going to stick it in the in the flux again, and then stick it back in the solder. What I'm going to do is I'm going to heat up that solder just a little more. And we'll just let that set. Let it sit in there and get warm. And it's still in there. It's, it's getting there. It's just keep repeating the process until you're happy with the solder joint. Clean it, dip it. Clean it. Dip it. If you're satisfied with that, you can take and quench it with a little water. A little water in here. Quench it with a little water. And you can tell if you've got a good solder. You've got enough solder in there. Let's see how the rest of it. Um, see how it bends. You can you can easily bend it. But up here at the tip, you can't. You can't bend that tip. So that means there's a lot of solder in there, and it's good. And then you stick it into your your your, your thing and solder it done. Friggin that's how I do it. Works a lot better than trying to heat it with a torch and and then sit there and and then, and then try and you know stick this in there and then put it in the flux, you know. You know, and then, and then put it in the flux and then try it again and it just rolls off the side, you know, because then you get it too hot and it ruins the flex shaft. And But this is how I did it. I, I made a crucible and it I let the solder heat up the part. So, okay, thanks for watching.